Today we pick up our Bible study in Matthew chapter 2 and we'll look at verse 13. In Matthew chapter 2 verse 13 we learn that when the wise men had left the place where Joseph, Mary, and the baby Jesus were staying, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream instructing him to leave that place with his family and go to Egypt as King Herod was searching for the child in his attempt to kill him and secure his throne as king. This is the Lord God working in his ways in the lives of those who put their faith in him. This is the revealing of the sincerity of the heart of King Herod. God's plan for our lives does not work as we think it should, as his ways are greater than our ways and his thoughts are higher than ours, as we learn from Isaiah chapter 53, verses 8 and 9. But those who trust in God, as is the meaning of putting one's faith in God, know that his ways and his thoughts are best for our lives, even when we do not understand exactly why he is leading us as he is. For just as Joseph did not know, nor could have known, that King Herod was seeking to destroy the baby Jesus, as we see in Matthew chapter 2, verse 13, the wise men did not have this information as they were seeking to find the baby Jesus so they could worship him as we see in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. But as we now see in this revelation of the true heart of King Herod, everyone is not seeking Jesus with a sincere heart. Jesus declares in John chapter 10, verses 27 through 30, as I quote from the New King James Version, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Dear Lord, thank you for being all-knowing and all-seeing that you have a plan for our lives to protect us from the evils of this world and to help us through the trials and tribulations that Satan throws at us. If we will put and keep our faith in you and follow where you lead us, in Jesus' name I pray, amen.